Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Sinister. Team RG, we in the building. Rise and grind. Hope everybody feeling good, feeling great, feeling blessed, and having a successful day, having a successful year. All right, y'all. I want to talk to a lot of people that's looking to come into the reefer game and got to deal with uh, being on, being at a company that does refrigerated freight. This is something very important I need y'all to take note and keep in your notes. When you get these loads, right? When you get your loads, you got to double check your temperature. Before you walk out of that office, the shipping office, or on your way to the shipper, call them and ask them, Hey, is there any particular temperature you want me to set this unit to? So you can pre-cool your trailer. Now, the majority of the time when I'm going to get a load, I'll pre-cool the trailer to, neg to zero or negative 10 or negative 20, depending on where I'm going. Some places I know by heart, you know, like Briars, I know that's already negative 20 because it's ice cream. So you got to be, you got to be, aware of your temperature because this can get you terminated at a company and if you rush and don't pay attention to that temperature and you do you run in and you run in and you shut down and you do your break and you do your 10 hour break and that unit back there ain't on that load goes bad your company has to pay out money for that for that load that they lost yes it might be insured but I know Regardless that the, you know, the, the cargo is insured, the company still got to pay out money to the customer for that loss. So, when you're doing refrigerated freight, remember you specializing in temperature control freight. That's what you're dealing with. Temperature control freight. You are a temperature control specialist. That's how you got to maneuver in this uh, refrigerator game. Make sure your reefer unit is working. Make sure your reefer shoots inside the trailer is in good condition, not hanging down and torn. Make sure you get your trailers washed out so there don't be no bacteria contaminating the product. Because remember, we take chicken, we take ice cream, we take medication, we any you know anything that needs to be refrigerated and now refrigerated so that's something that y'all have to be aware of when you out here and you look at these builder ladings double check the temperature find out if it got to be on cycle century or continuous cycle century is when let's just say the temperature is 35 the set point for the temperature is supposed to be at 35 when it get up to 40 the, the reefer unit kicks back on to bring the uh, the temperature degrees back down 5 to take it back to 35 and then it'll cut off. And then it'll go back up to 5. five it'll go back up to like 40 and then it'll kick back in and come back down and shut off. Continuous is just when the unit is constantly running and running and running and running and it don't turn off. So when you're doing refrigerated freight please, I'm stressing this to y'all Double check your temperature. Double check the information on that load. Make sure when you pick up, if you pick up a preloaded trailer, make sure that the doors is completely closed. Because sometimes I done picked up a load where they got the, the doors closed in the back of the trailer. But at the top, the latch is sitting on outside of the hinge where it latches, it latches the door in. So... Please be aware of that stuff. Take your time. If you rush, you're going to get yourself in a jam. You're going to get yourself messed up out here. You can also have an accident trying to rush to get this load moving. Don't rush. Take your time. Check that temperature on, that, on, on your bill of ladings. Check the comments in your load information. When you get your pre-assigned load, when you actually get uh, to the back of the load information, it usually have a comment section. Check it. 
If you're not sure, call your DM or text your DM. Hey, what is this temper just supposed to be set on? Or call the customer because they know what's best. Because they the ones dealing with it. Because sometimes your company will tell you the freight, the, the temperature is supposed to be this, but the customer says the temperature got to be that. You go off of what the customer is telling you. So that's important. That's important. Call the customer first and get the information for them from, from them about the temperature you should have your reefer unit set on. That's important. And then when you get your when you get your paperwork, make sure that your paperwork matches the temp, you know, the, the temperature on your paperwork matches what they told you. And then if when you send your loaded call in, put that temperature in. And if if your company tells you, hey, the temperature is supposed to be set to this, you send a free form to your dispatcher, hey, paperwork says temperature should be set at 30 or negative 10 or 5 or whatever it is but I'm telling y'all you can't lose your job you lose that freight back there because it's going to cost a company a lot of money so please please I'm stressing to all of y'all who's looking to do refrigerated freight Take your time because you can lose your job behind losing the load. Because that's a lot of that's 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 a, a large amount of product you can lose. And now the people who bought the load, now you gotta pay to replace what they just lost. So um, as far as the, the the load being the short and stuff like that, I know for for sure when you lose a load here, Knight still has to pay out regardless that load is insured. So, for all of the ones that want to comment and say, "Well, the freight is insured, so why should your company have to pay for it?" Listen. I don't know. When I get a chance to get the corporate, maybe I'll talk to a planner about that and bring you that video. Why is that? That's a good question. So I'll look into that, get with somebody in corporate and find out about that. And then I'll bring you the information because, you know, that's what I do. I bring y'all information. I bring y'all things to help make you better out here, to help make all of us better. And that's just what it is. And I just wanted to stress that video, but... I'm going to do another video behind this, and um, I'm going to show y'all some of my old bill lading paperwork, and I'm going to highlight some things, show y'all what y'all need to look for to protect yourself. But remember, you are a temperature control specialist. Learn your temperatures. Learn what banana is supposed to be on. Learn what chicken is supposed to be on. Learn what ice cream is. Learn what the medication what medications need to be set on flowers i had a load of flowers i brought from california and my reefer unit with the reefer unit turned on so be aware of this stuff if you're not sure don't be afraid to reach out to me if you're here at night or if you at another company and you're doing refrigerated and you need help still reach out to me because i'm doing refrigerated freight and it's very important because without the refrigerated freight, you won't get no food in your house. Other people won't have no food on their table or in the in in the fast food restaurants. I, I had a load one time. I did Popeye's chicken, pulling the load for Popeye's chicken here at night. Taco Bell's. So, please be aware of that. And. That's all I got to really say. This is your boy Sinister. I hope this sits in your mind. Write this down. Put this in your notes. And say it. I got to double check my temperature all the time. Now, before I go, I just shut down. I'm empty. So I don't got to check my unit. When you got a load 
and you shut down before you get back here in the sleeper, check that reefer unit, check that temperature, check your fuel, and when you get up in the morning, check that reefer unit, check that temp, uh, check the reefer unit, check the temperature, check your fuel tank. Then go to the back and check your seal. And when you got a, a load, because it got a seal on it, even one of the wire seals that you need wire cutters to uh, cut the seal, still put a lock on it for your safety. Yes, it's not going to stop somebody who really want to break into your trailer, but put a lock on it to cover yourself. But this your boy Sinister dropping more of that knowledge for all you new drivers that's coming in the game. Come on, get out here. Let's go. We running, we riding, we eating, we getting it. What you waiting on? That's all I'm going to say. What are you waiting on? Come get some of this moolah. Peace out, y'all. Next video coming right after this. Later.